Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Aziz Ramon. I'm the publisher of our online community journalism platform known as Community Gist. So today I'll be talking about uh, sharing my experience, my story, how I started my blog, right to how I started a successful blogging business in Nigeria. Like I said, the name of my blog is known as Community Gist. Community Gist is an online community media outfit that is meant to give voice to the voiceless, particularly in the rural communities. So I started this uh, blogging in the year 2020 as a 20 I launched the community just today. I'm trying to share the slide. Okay. So today we'll be talking about how to start successful blogging business in India. I'll start with the definition of a blog post. What is a blogging? Yes, uh, what is blogging? Blogging simply means writing and uploading of a blog. Well, let me get the... Uh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, blog, like I said, blogging simply means writing and publishing on a web blog. And what is a to go more detail? You can say blogging refers to writing, photography, and other media that are self published online. Yeah, blogging started as an opportunity for individuals to write their style entries, but it has since been populated into websites for many businesses. So, after that, let me talk about. Uh, blogging means to write and to publish online. It's an for you to share your experience. So in my own case, uh, I'm a community person. I used to attend community meetings. I contribute to the growth and development of my community. So why I started that, okay, I just think I, I see there's a need to Rural communities, like where the challenges come from, they put their resources. For a different community, so and after that, you get, there is need for these people to have their voice, for their voice to be heard. They can't just be doing all this without the recognition from the government, without being heard. And majority of the media houses in Nigeria see. Whatever they do in that rural community as a new, uh, they didn't see it as news. So I took it upon myself to so let me give voice to this uh, rural community, to the voiceless people, so that people can see what is going on uh, in the in the community. So that's the idea behind it. Okay, what is, things that is going on in the community? Let people know about it. Uh, so who is a blogger? A blogger is an individual that blogs, regardless whether he or she has a blog, he has his own blog or not. But in my case, I have my blog, which is Community Gist, that I use as a, as a platform to give voice to the voiceless. So we have a 
these guys two types of uh, bloggers, blo uh, professional bloggers. We have one, those that make money through their own blogs, and others are the people that create content for blogs or for companies, for businesses. Like I think I, I belong to the first category, those that who make money through their home blog. I make a whole lot of money through my blog because I saw people for them and people see it and as an avenue to express themselves. And I, I can sit in my office while some people sending stories happening in their communities. Even communities have not been have not been before. So I I interview the action on questions, we write the stories and publish and get paid for that. So you can make money through your own blog or you work for companies or blogs. Like I have uh, some other guys that I work with. They write content, they go out, source for news and they will publish on our website. So that's the second category of, uh, uh, of bloggers. So community G's, uh, falls under the first category. We have our own blog that uh, fetches money by doing what? By disseminating community news. So let's move on. So having said that, community Jesus uh, started as uh, something I have passion for. So. The first thing to have, we want to start blogging, so I have to look at, I'll get to, okay, let's go to steps to start successful blogging business in Nigeria. For you to have a successful blogging business in Nigeria, you have to take all of these steps or more. One is to choose a niche for your blog. You choose a niche for, what do you mean by a niche? That is your area of concentration. What do you want to be writing about? And for you to be successful in this blogging business, you have to write about what you're passionate about. You can't just write on things that you, are, you don't have knowledge or you are not passionate about because you will get tired at long run. So the first thing you need to choose a niche for yourself. We have different type of niche. And um, one lovely thing about uh, blogging is I can even put uh, your own ideas, you can use your own ideas to create a new niche for yourself. Just like in my own case, communities as well as people are writing about the National Assembly, the presidency, the state governor, and the rest. So me, I decided to write on communities. I started from writing about CDA report, that's Community Development Association. I go to different meetings, listening to their Things I, I take notes, interview the chairman, the stakeholders in the community. I talk to them. Thank you, Mr. Victor. So we have the, the slide now. So I talk to people in the community, and that is how the whole of the idea of community Jesus started. So you have to choose your niche. Like me, the, in the blog, I choose the niche I choose is a community journalism to so give voice to the voiceless, to the rural communities, especially. So that's what uh, I did. So you need to choose your name. We have different type of needs. We can be technology, we can write about digital marketing, we can write about health, fashion, and a whole lot of things. So you decide your niche, it needs the area you want to go to, and this has to be uh, area that you are, you are experienced or you are skillful. Then the next one is uh, decide your blog name. Decide your blog name. What do you want to call your blog? In my case, I call it Community Gist. So you find a name, you have a name for yourself as your identity. So whenever you go, people just mention, you know, okay, they are talking about this particular blog. So you decide your blog name. What do you want to name your blog? Then another thing is uh, acquire a domain name and web hosting. What do I mean by the domain name? Domain name and the hosting, just like you want to own a house. The land you want to build your house uh, is what we call the web hosting. That is your space on the internet. That is the web hosting. Why your domain name is your house address, for example, to Allen Avenue. 
like in my case, I, my domain name is community gist. So the the space where I host I host a community gist on the internet is called the web hosting. I hope you are getting that. So you will have to acquire a domain name. You go, there are so many websites that you can get a domain name here in Nigeria, or outside Nigeria, there are some. I think the one I'm using is a Nigeria company. I pay in there. There are some you pay in dollars and guess. So you, you make your choice. You look at the what the company has to offer you. Then you make your decision. There are so many websites you can acquire a domain and web hosting from. You make your research. You look at the name you want to use. But the first thing you have to check the availability of the names. If somebody have not been using that name before, so you 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 put that into consideration. So the domain name I'm using now is a communitygs.ng. That is the, do, the domain name. And that ng signifies, it means that it's a Nigerian blog, it's a Nigerian website. We have uh, other content like UK, they use .co.uk. So based on, because I'm, I'm into community journalist, so I want to uh, identify with Nigeria. So I go for the .ng. Is a bit uh, expensive than like the normal dot com dot com dot ng. I think it's good. So anybody visiting my work, uh, website outside Nigeria, we know that okay, this website uh, is being hosted or is owned by Nigeria. So that's the next thing. And the the next step is to decide and install your preferred content management system. What by content management system? These are the, the system that allow you to host uh, your website. So you have different, before now, before now, uh, you have to have uh, some IT knowledge, HTML, and the rest to, to build the website. But thank God for platforms like uh, WordPress, Blogger, Weebly, Wix, and the rest, so many of them. You can host a standard blog or website on them with little. Uh, skills, or even with that uh, code, uh, programming skills, and host your own website. So you decide which one you want to use. In my case, I use uh, WordPress because WordPress is easier one and it's very is advanced. That can almost everything you can do with uh, any website. You can do that so many plugins you can use. So it's very very excellent. And we have to take note. We have two types of. Uh, WordPress, we have WordPress.com and WordPress.org. WordPress.org is the best because the WordPress is a, is a free. You can host your website on WordPress.com. Like for instance, you can say communitygist.wordpress.com, which is not that, uh, is not unique enough. So you want to use the paid version that is standard, you go for uh, WordPress.org. So you have it, everything personalized to so be communitygist.ng. It's not as if you'll be sharing. Yeah, it's like the uh, WordPress still hosting your website. You don't have your own hosting on the internet. So uh, we are using that uh, uh, WordPress or which is free actually. But you can start with that. You can start with that to experiment how it works. Then you upgrade later. So for me, I use WordPress. Plugger is also good, but I use WordPress. Then the, the next thing, the next step is to create your first blog post and be consistent. That word is key. It's not about to just start blogging. It's not about to create your first post. It's not about publishing your first post. You have to post and be consistent. You can do this by having your work for the editorial calendar. You can schedule yourself that I want to be publishing. You want to be making posts twice, guys, in a week. Even once in a week, you can start with that. A time goes up. All matter. In blogging, you know, every any business is, is consistency. You have to be consistent with what you do. So you create a very good content. Content is key when it comes to blogging. You create a good content and be consistent with what you do. Then the next thing is to promote or market your blog. Uh, after uh, after creating your blog, you have make your post without promoting it or marketing it. Your post will just sit on your website, and by the time you check from your backend, how many people have visited my website? How many people have read this post? 
you can't just you just see maybe only one person have done that. Don't don't be discouraged actually. But for you to uh to make use of uh, all your efforts, you need to promote your blog. How do we promote it? You can promote by sharing that post. Each post you make, you can share with your friends or family on social media, WhatsApp, Facebook, and the rest. It's not a bad idea also to also have a Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter page for, for your blog with the same name. Whatever you publish on your blog, you copy or you share it across your social media platform. Uh, the WhatsApp uh, group you belong, you share it. And that was how you, you attract uh, traffic to your website. Like in community GZ, whenever you post, we post, we put it on our, on our social media platform, we put it on our, uh, on our WhatsApp status and share it across so that people will know that community GZ exists. So you promote or you market your blog is very, very key. Very, very key. Because this is what we motivate you to do more. And these words will bring you money at the end of the day. So the next thing is start making money from your blog. Once you do all this, the next thing is to start making money. Though the money is not called, will not come overnight like that. But once you do the right thing, you can follow all the steps mentioned above. You should rest assured, money will keep flowing. But you don't just sit on this. Once you do that, you keep repeating the same thing. Be consistent. And before you know it, you make name for yourself one and you start making money. Like uh, when I started community GIS, I'm just an ordinary person in my community. People just know me by my name. But now everywhere I go, people just say, community GIS, you know, so it has, it has uh, bring me, it's like, it's like a household name uh, in my community, even outside now. Does everybody know? Everybody know about community GZMs. They have already see about this. So it will bring you that, and the money will surely come in once you do the right thing. The next slide. Okay, making money from your blog. After all the, the stress, the, uh, the contribution you are making, the next thing is to make money from your blog. You need to really make money because that's very, very key. And that's the, uh, the ultimate, one of the reasons why blog is being established. Although there are many, there are various reasons why people set up blog like in my own instance, uh, the motive behind setting up community G is not for is not all about money. When I started, I just knew that I would make money. I'm very sure that's one thing about. I'm very sure I'll make money. But I didn't do it because I want to make money. Because whatever you do and you are doing, since you are providing solution to people, it will fetch money. You are solving people's problem. And then either you know you want will directly or indirectly, it will fetch you money. So the motive behind the community is just to solve human, humanity problem. And what is the problem I identified then was that there is need to promote community news. There is need to give voice to the voiceless, particular, particularly in the rural communities. Whereas one funny thing about it is that majority of the big boys in the as see community news as not as not news as not newsworthy. Whereas where you have thousands of people living in a particular environment and their issue is not being heard, it's not being discussed. So it, it so it pains me. So I see it's, a, it's an opportunity for me to contribute to the growth and development of the communities. So that's the motive behind it. So, and I thank God we, we, are, we, are, we are heading there. We want to be there because the, the vision is to become the largest hyperlocal community journalism platform in Nigeria, if not in Africa. And we are getting there. So, the first thing to make money from your blog 
one is to become a solution provider you have to solve problems whatever i want to do in nigeria I, people all over the world that i want to make money from the first thing is to solve people's problem if you are not solving people's problem people will not give you money money comes in when you solve people's problem so to make money from your blog you need to become a solution provider you now look inward look at the niche you want to go into how can i provide solution to people with this that i want to do what are the needs is there the, there is there need for what i want to do you ask yourself you go in world you make your research the niche you want to go to who are who will be my followers who will be my audience what are the things they need what are the challenges they are facing like in the case of uh, community G's, we see that there are so many rural communities doing wonderfully well, but the government did not even recognize them. So I remember one of our stories got the attention of the, there's a community in for local government called Maidon. The community put their resources together to build a center. But because the government is not even aware they are doing anything, but one of our reports, go to the attention of the, the then uh, local government chairman, the caretaker then. And he came to their, to their rescue to support the project by contributing to the project. I think he did something because the project has gone got to the roof left, left then. But he came to support them. So that is, is the joy for us because we, at least we provide so, a solution to that community. And that one, the individual in that same community lead to, to other communities, Matogun, Okao Road, very terrible road. But one of our publications also acquired the member of, a, of the constituency, representing them at our uh, state house of assembly to do, to do the palliative measure on the road. So these are the things we are talking about. You look at, we are going to a different niche, but look at the solution you want to offer. What are the things that people need? They are going to solve that. Just look at solving the problem first. Once you solve the problem, then the money will surely come in. And at Tango last year, based on the community uh, journalism, we are doing, giving voice to the voiceless in rural communities. We got a C grant of $1,000 from an NGO in the United States of America known as a depollination project. So the first thing is that you solve people's problem and the money will surely come in. I believe very soon we get more, more ground that is bigger than that. So what I'm saying is that solve people's problem and the money will follow you. That's number one. Two, you launch a product or a service for it to remain relevant in whatever niche you are doing. Because you want to sustain it, you want to make money, is very, very ideal for you to launch a product or a service. You can look for any services or products related to what you are writing about. You launch it, you use your blog to promote that, and money will come, it comes in. Like in our case, what do we do after the journalism thing? What we do is that we look for other problems. Related to what we do, we discover that most students in this rural community don't have the opportunity to participate in their educational programs like those in the urban area, like spelling bee, quiz competition, and all sorts of things. So, what we do is that we organize spelling bee, different educational programs, spelling bee, quiz competition, debates, seminars to, 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 to contribute to the educational development of the children in this uh, community. And that's enough, that's also, uh, it, that's, uh, that's why that is not, uh, it's not money, uh, it's not uh, money, I'll help it now. It's not because of money that we started up yet, but at least we are seeing something and we are impacting puppies in the community. And we have sponsors, we have partners, we have people supporting the project. So uh, as we collect from the uh, sponsor, the plan we give to, we encourage the student to fall in love with education. So this, these are the things. 
you launch a product or a service also that we use to sustain. So some people got to know about community GIS through the educational programs. Now we are in partnership with several schools around there because of the, this uh, service that we render to people. So the, another thing is that to launch a product or service, this will help to boost your blog. And at the end of the day, for example, those that are going to write about uh, fashion now, you can start selling clothes. As you are promoting, you, you write about the, the product you have at hand, you talk about different version, why people should put on this kind of clothes. And if you are not even have a, your own product, you can partner with uh, organizations or companies that produce clothing. You are advertised as you are talking about how people should dress, you, you talk about the product. You put a link where they can purchase it. Once they, once they buy, you make your profit too. Then the next one is sell adverts on your blog. You can sell adverts on your blog. How do you do that? You can meet local business around you that do what's related to your niche. Okay. That, uh, that's what that's what that's related to your niche. So you talk to them to advertise their products. The other thing is to become an affiliate. You can uh, become an affiliate or that online, make research how to become affiliate. We have thousands of online organizations, you can become the affiliate that will be people can buy their stuff from your blog. Then offer paid subscription. You can offer paid subscription when you have, have enough uh, uh, traffic, you can tell your followers, you can have premium service and stuff like that. You can make research on how to offer paid subscription. Next slide, please. Okay. So to round up, in conclusion, I have to say this, having a blog is a lucrative and legitimate business. Very, very lucrative if you, if, you do, if you do it right. You can make a lot of money. I can make reputation for yourself. But the key there is consistency. And it's not overnight something. It's not something you start today and you expect to be making millions tomorrow. You need, it requires a, lot, a whole lot of effort to you. From you rather, you need to dedicate your time to it, your time, your resources, your energy before you can start making good money. But one thing that is very real, that is very, very assured is that you make a whole lot of money from blogging if you do it right. So with that, uh, I, I have to come to the end of this presentation. I appreciate everyone for listening and having me today. And I appreciate Yada Nigeria for putting this Kind of thing together. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. So the meeting has ended. Thank you, our facilitator. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Tosin. So this video will be available on YouTube by God's grace. So thanks a lot, and we'll continue to see uh, within the week. I also want to announce that we have the Yalda Hangouts that are coming up, coming up um, this week. So our, our project director and project managers will give us the information uh, from time to time within the week. So thanks again, and God bless you. You're welcome.